Hi, welcome back. Today I'm doing a home leg workout, so I thought I'd um, film it for the channel. As you know, um, the gyms are all closed, so like everybody else, I'm going to carry on my workouts at home. I have a yoga mat, some 3 kilogram dumbbells and a resistance band, so we're just going to make do with that. I always warm up for lower body workouts with a bit of cardio just to get my heart rate going a bit. In the gym I normally go on the treadmill but here I'm just starting off with some squat jumps. I do 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. I'm going into star jumps. Then inchworms. Plank jacks, which is quite a nice transition because you're already going down onto the floor after the inchworms. I do mountain climbers again this is quite a nice transition because you're already um, in the right position for it then I do high knees Then there's the uh, dreaded burpee. I don't, I don't know why I do this last. It's the worst one. I should probably switch it up a bit. These don't have to be perfect as, you know, we're just warming up. I also just want to say I'm in no way a fitness expert or anything, as you can probably tell. I'm just um, showing what I do. If anyone has any constructive criticism on form and things, that's fine. some leg swings so I'm not all stiff you know sometimes when exercising your whole body just creaks and cracks and all this prevents some of that then just a few stretches To activate the muscle I then do some fire hydrants and kickbacks. If you want to make this harder you can add a resistance band. Make sure you're doing this sort of slow and controlled, um, not just waving your legs about so then it really activates the muscles. I do 10 of these on each leg. Here I'm remembering I missed out the rest of my stretches, so I'm just adding those in now. And I forgot to do it today, but um, you're also supposed to warm up your core as well. I usually do like a minute plank or a minute of sit-ups, but I keep forgetting to do it lately and not realising until later. It's really annoying.
Right now for the main workout, I do some squats. I hold both my dumbbells to my chest for this. You can do this both with and without a weight. I do five sets of 12 with a few seconds rest in between sets. To make sure I'm making progress since I can't increase the weight with not having access to a gym, I'm gonna increase the reps by a little bit uh, every two weeks until eventually I'll be doing like five sets of 20. And then if that gets too easy, um, I've got some ankle weights, um, they're very small, um, they're like half a kilogram each, but I'll add them to my wrists or ankles depending on what I'm doing just to make things a bit harder. Then after that I do glute bridges, excuse me squinting here, the sun was right in my eyes. Um, today I'm using a resistance band and one of my dumbbells across my hips. You can do this without weights if you want to. Or if you make it harder but you don't have any weights, a good idea is to get something heavy, like perhaps like a stack of books or something, and um, just like put that across your hips. Uh, again, five sets of 12. Um, for this workout, everything's five sets of 12. Then I do good mornings. Um, now in the gym, I would do this with a barbell on my back, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to hold the weights to my chest like this. For a good morning, you like put your shoulders back and then just bend down as far as you can go. Again, you can do this without a weight or just anything heavy. Here I am back with sunglasses because the sun was right in my eyes. Now at the gym I used to use the leg press machine so I was looking online for any alternatives and I found you can do something similar if you have a long resistance band like the one I've got. Um, this is the first time trying out this move though so um, bear with me I think I'm going to need some practice. If you want an alternative use for a resistance band, you can also use it as a fly swatter like I'm doing here. I'm not sure it was actually a fly. Um, it could have been a wasp. It was bloody massive and it was hovering right over me. So freaked out a little bit there. After using my band as a fly swatter, I then carried on in peace and moved on to calf raises. Um, again, you can do these with or without a weight. Um, they're a great exercise for your calves and they make sure your legs get muscle all over and you don't end up with like massive thighs and no calves. So my outfit today, I got the shirt from Strong Strong Supply. It's um, from America. It's a company owned or I think part owned by a youtuber i follow um i love how it says stay strong on the front and it's really comfortable and really soft as well and then my leggings and the yoga mat and the resistance band are all from sports direct then the dumbbells i'm not sure where they're from um i got those second hand i forgot to say my shoes are from sports direct as well they are nike and they're really comfortable And we're done. This is the protein powder I use. It's chocolate flavour. It's quite nice. Um, I got this from a lady off Facebook. Um, so it was quite cheap. And then I got the bottle from b and I always try to have a protein shake after my workouts. As I think it helps recovery a lot. Make sure you're not aching for days afterwards if you get enough protein. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.